The purpose of the reference date is to create a start point on the elapsed time scale. It doesn't directly affect the interpretation, but may cause synchronization issues if it's not kept in mind. When a new document is created, the reference date is set by default to today's date. Typically, however, it will be changed by the user as shown. We then create a document accepting defaults for all the other data. We now load the pressure and rate files. Since, in this example, the pressure data includes the date and timestamp, where they sit on the elapsed time scale will depend on the document reference date. However, the rate data being loaded is duration stamped only. Therefore, the reference date and time of this data needs to be specified. By default, it is the same as the document reference date, but again, this may be edited. To illustrate this example, let's set, incorrectly, the reference date to be a day after the document reference date. As a result, the rate data start at an elapsed time value of 24 hours. When the reference date is incorrectly set, we need to remedy the situation. In this example, we are happy with the document and the pressure file reference date, but we have referenced the rate data a day late. We can either delete the loaded gauge and reload using the correct reference date or shift it in time. Here the latter option is illustrated. Once the data are loaded, it is still possible to change the reference date of the document. The data are not shifted and retain their original dates. The elapsed time scale is reset according to the new reference date.